of course. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome to my channel. I'm Jesse and uh, if you're watching this from my homepage for the first time, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it and to all my supporters and followers that have uh, followed me for a lot of years, uh, thank you as well. It's, uh, it's actually been 10 years today since I put up my first video, so thank you all for your support over the last decade. This is my annual room tour, so I'm really excited to sort of share this and uh, put this out as sort of a document that I can look back on in years to come and also share my collection with everyone else out there on, on the internet land. It's pretty exciting stuff. So yeah, stick with me, take a seat, relax, and uh, we'll get through this and I'll see you at the other side. Alright guys, so before I kick off, I'll usually do a quick 360 and then we'll go into the individual section. So here is my sort of, my little Jedi Archives library here. Um, Yep, all, everything from books, magazines, comics, uh, all, all sort of dedicated to these three shelves as long as little, lots of little bits and pieces around there too. In the middle here I've sort of got a Darth Vader shrine at the top as well as uh, home media on these three shelves as well as my sail barge and a couple of cabinets down the bottom. Over here this is sort of mostly six inch black series stuff, those two big billy shelves there. Um, some other books and folders down the bottom there, and then just other assorted bits and pieces throughout the collection. Um, over here, that's my sort of that's my vintage cabinet there, so all my vintage stuff is in there. Um, as well as up there, got the Lego Death Star. Uh, other bits and pieces. Uh, this is pretty much most of my three and three quarter inch collection, and uh, I will move that chair before we get to what's in the corner there. Uh, more three and three quarter, little Boba Fett shrine, some hot toys down the bottom, and my SH figure arts collection. So, we will get started with the library. So, I do have these sort of semi sorted into uh, canon, non canon, all sorts of stuff. Uh, it's my own little, little thing. So, um, got these. I've actually borrowed these three, so they're due to be returned to the, their rightful owner. Um, I'll just sort of make my way across and then down. This is my sort of little Galaxy's Edge, uh, Disney, Disney Parks sort of shrine here. I've got a few pins on the side here. They're great. It's on the side here. Contacts and YouTube friends and internet friends, a couple of droids, toy companies that I buy from and support as much as I can. Up the top here is sort of random assortment, mostly sort of plushies, um, some of the Disney figures there, uh, some of the app, um, Galaxy of Adventures figures. Yeah, just an assortment of stuff. You see lots of lots of different things sort of spotted around my room. So continuing with the books. And see, like a Hallmark ornament there. Got a uh, pin here from Hyperspace Pins. Definitely check them out. They've got some great stuff. So I'm pretty up to date with most of the novels at the moment. Uh, there's still lots I haven't read. <laughs> um, but yeah, for the most part, the collection is up to date. This is sort of a bit of a new shelf here. Um, just wanted to make room for the new High Republic novels. And I uh, put the new Star Wars Archives book down there as well. It's a beautiful book. Sort of mostly legend stuff from here on in. Some of the original novelizations back there. And uh, again, just more sort of random bits and pieces sort of scattered around. A few Lego sets, a couple of little Bandai models. Cups and mugs and some books behind there. Down here, the, uh, that's the first wave of retro retro figures. I uh, didn't continue to get any more after them, but lots of lots of sort of young reader books in the back. It's a lot of them I've had since I was a kid. It's sort of hard covers and a couple other young young reader books back there. This is sort of my little corner down here with the making ofs and art of books. That is the rebels. Art of book down here, the making of Star Wars Vault, amazing book. Uh, the three making of books there are absolutely incredible. Uh, here's my sort of Marvel trade paperback collection. 
I have a very small collection of um, single issue comics and I've started falling behind a little bit on the trade so I do need to catch up at some point from the newest sort of lot I've only got the uh, Darth Vader so I need to catch up with them Star Wars Insider magazines I've been collecting them for a very long time some of the sort of special edition magazines there and then down the bottom is sort of my reference books uh, all sorts of things like the uh, Old Republic Encyclopedia, the two storyboards books, some annuals, Stormtroopers, uh, the Ultimate Action Figure Collection and the Vintage Star Wars Action Figure Guide, some Lego books and the, like the visual dictionaries and stuff. It's probably some of my favourite stuff. I've, I've been a big fan of collecting the books for a lot, a lot of years. Um, but yeah, just on the outside here, Got my sort of lanyards from the two Star Wars celebrations that I've attended, both Orlando and Chicago. And some of the sort of swag pins that I've collected over the years as well. They're a lot of fun. So we'll get a look at the barge here. This is the HasLab sail barge from Hasbro. Um, I recently did like a bit more of a bigger overview of this sort of setup, so you can go back and watch that. Um, down in these cabinets, I have my Lego... Jabba's Palace and Battle of Sarlacc Pit. I've pretty much stopped with the Lego for now. It's uh, gotten way too expensive. Down here I've got a bit of a Takodana set up. And in here I've got the uh, Endor Jungle, Ewok Village, and then that's where I keep my accessory bins down there. <coughs> so here we'll go through the media. So I've got a small little section here for games. So that's always growing as I find, you know, secondhand old games. Got these three Atari games, they're really great. It's sort of my Blu-rays. And a few 4Ks in there as well. Got the complete steelbook, so I'd love to get the originals, the original six films on their individual steelbooks as well at some point. Again, with the random stuff, like I've just got a random droid carrier there. Lego Bad Batch. They're not real Lego, they're knockoffs, so. <laughs> but they look great. They look great. That's why I've got them there. Uh, DVDs, a couple other sort of Blu rays, documentaries. Uh, the, like the, the Ewok films, Ewok droids, cartoons, Clone Wars, the original Tartakovsky ones, which have just hit Disney Plus. Um, different versions of DVDs. That's getting quite extensive. Again, sort of random figures and statues and cups and stuff. Got the VHSs. Got a few different sets there. And then my Super 8 films. I've got four Super 8s. They're really cool. I'd love to be able to hook them up and watch them one day. And up here we've got the Darth Vader shelf. Um, that's Cad Bane Starfighter, which is hanging there. That needs to be moved at some point. And the Daboo Starfighter. Unless I put Anakin in it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, it kind of works. But yeah, a little bit of a Darth Vader shrine up here with random bits and pieces, figures and cups and yeah, or just all sorts of things representing Darth Vader. And that sort of crosses over to here too with the uh, Anakin and the carded Vader up there too. And a couple other just little carded items. The uh, George Lucas X-Wing pilot and a couple of the Mandalorian Hot Wheel cars. Kylo Ren's saber up there. Just random other bits and pieces sort of stuck around the stuck around the room. So that's sort of my home media. And moving on. So I'll sort of take you through this little section here and then we'll take a look at Black Series. Um, so got the start off with the Black Series Snow Speeder up there is fantastic. Here I have all my Lego minifigures. I've pretty much sold off you know 95% of my sets. The only ones that are left are the ones in this room. But I've managed to hold on to pretty much all of the minifigures. Um, yeah, I absolutely adore the minifigures. They're probably probably one of the main reasons why I bought the Lego, to be honest, just for the characters. Um, and that's where the trap really got me. <laughs> uh, just some random box items. A Lego ATST Raider there in front of the vintage box. It's a Disney 10-inch Death Trooper up there and the OPC Killer. 
So coming back over here, we've got the Lego Razor Crest. That's a fantastic set. Three of the uh, Bandai Tamashii Nations sort of samurai characters. They're great. I don't plan on getting any more. I'd um, love to get the Darth Maul though. That's one I wouldn't mind getting. Down here, sort of random stuff. Some Lego. The Thrawn comic set. Down here, more sort of just random bits and bobs. These are all my all my folders. I've got four packs of trading cards. I've got photos and autographs in there. I'd love to get them framed and on display at some point. Merchandise and catalogs. That's a full folder of like, you know, just catalogs and merchandise. <laughs> exactly what the folder says. And then just sort of magazine cutouts and bits and pieces, keepsakes. I've sort of kept in these three folders uh, for their designated eras. And down there is the uh, Star Wars fact file, which I will never do again because that was an absolute pain dealing with Diagostini to, to finish that off. So, won't do that again. Alright, let's take a look at Black Series. Alright, so with my Black Series, not necessarily in any order. Um, each shelf is sort of refined, refined by film or part of a film, so uh, for the most part. So we'll start up here, we've got some New Hope. That's all New Hope. Greedo is back there, it's a bit dark. Now uh, moving on to more New Hope. I do have a Carol Danvers X-Wing pilot back there. <laughs> he just had a spare body, so... And a spare head, so I thought I'd use that. Uh, the Rebels. Down here, this is Majority uh, Empire. So Imperial figures, not necessarily Empire Strikes Back. Got the final jewel there at the end. Palpatine, Tarkin, Stormtroopers. We've got Piet and Veers. And try to get a couple of each trooper. Yeah, that's the best I can do. So moving along, this is sort of uh, game figures, comic figures, uh, legends. Sort of all expanded universe stuff. A couple of Calcestuses. A lot of those Purge Troopers. Luke Afra Hondo. And here we've got the uh, Force Awakens Jewel, as well as the Sith Eternal. I bought a few of these, <laughs> just a few. So I've got uh, Palpatine and, and Dark Ray leading the charge with the uh, with the Sith Eternal army here. The uh, Phasma, the battle damage Phasma from Force Awakens. And we've got the sort of sequel heroes slash good guys except for those two at the back, the Guavi and Death Gang. Holdo's taking a, taking a slight tumble there. Rise of Skywalker section looking a little bleak. Same with the vintage line. We go down to my first order. We've got Kylo Ren, one of the Knights of Ren that they've done, or the only Knight of Ren that they've done. Stormtroopers back there, snow troopers, flame troopers, a couple of mountain troopers, type pilots, jet troopers. Here we've got the Snoke's Throne Room Jewel. I am still on the hunt for another Snoke, because I plan on chopping one up and having him on the floor. With his tongue hanging out. And then I can have another full Snoke sort of standing at the front there. That's kind of one of my favourite displays in my room. So moving down, Return of the Jedi. Some great figures here. So moving on to Empire Strikes Back. Bounty Hunters. And going down to the prequel trilogy era. So we've got some Phantom Menace in here that's starting to uh, starting to build up some characters there. So the Attack of the Clones merging with Clone Wars, which then will merge into sort of Revenge of the Sith as well, and then some post Clone Wars. Obi-Wan's taken a fall, just need to stand him back up at some point. So 
clones, phase two clones, Jedi, and the start of the Bad Batch there, which is great. They're cool figures, really great. And then we move into Solo. Solo had a pretty good range of figures. Um, that, that movie got sort of served well in the six inch line. I wish they had a different Kira from sort of later on in the film instead of uh, that one there from the beginning because they didn't have the Han to go with her, so. And underneath that, it's got the Rogue One, which I'd love to see expanded. Apparently we'll be getting updated versions of these towards the end of this year. It'll be the fifth year anniversary of Rogue One. So looking forward to that. Uh, the rest of Empire, this is all sort of the Hoth, Hoth stuff. Hoth stuff. And then, of course, the Mandalorian, which I've put a sneak, couple of sneaky extra figures in there, like um, the R5 there and the Luke. Now that Mando's fallen over. But yeah, looking forward to looking forward to filling this shelf up a little more. So that's pretty much Black Series. Let's move on to the next section. So just across the, around my doorway here, got some. Um, character cars sort of based on the Macquarie art this is all just sort of random tags and stuff from clothing and stickers more lots of bits and pieces there all right, so let's take a look in the vintage vintage shelf it's a cabinet you can see back there that is the uh, the yak face that came with the barge he's sort of hidden away in the dark I'd love to sort of show him off a little bit more Carded uh, tri logo Anakin. It's the only sort of real vintage carded figure I have. I don't see myself getting any others in a hurry. It's way out of my price range and not really part of my focus. But I do love the vintage stuff. I've just got a couple of modern vintage figures in the back there the Power Droid and Reese. And I couldn't really find a nice spot for Size Noodle, so she's just in the middle there at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, love love my vintage stuff. Really cool. It's got a little Macquarie concept figures down here. A couple of Phasmas, Disney Elite. There's my vinyl record collection as well as the uh, Ralph Macquarie book, which is absolutely incredible. CD soundtracks there. Yeah, big fan of big fan of the music of Star Wars, so that's one of my favourite parts of my collection as well. Uh, in that cupboard, that's pretty much just storage. There's nothing to see in there. All right, let's go three and three quarter inch. All right, so where better to start than the top? I will just start here actually with the Lego Death Star. It's one of my favourite pieces. But we'll get on here to three and three quarter inch. We've got the Attack of the Clones Geonosis Arena sort of really starting to fill this thing out with uh, some of the 2002, 2003 Jedi figures that come out like uh, Nikto Jedi, Kiyadi, uh, Kit Fisto, Plo Koon, Luminara, Ayla, just trying to fill in some of those gaps. Just a couple of Lego sets up the top. Got more Attack of the Clones. Hope you can sort of see all that all right. We sort of come back down here to Empire Strikes Back. Well, this is something I've really tried to sort of keep in chronological order, but just due to the size of play sets like the Geonosis Arena, the ATST, the Rancor, I've had sort of had to had to make them fit, depending depending on the size of you know the collection on the shelves. So here we got Empire Strikes Back. Moving on to sort of Jabba's Palace. Max Rebo Band and all the crew there. There's Jabba himself. Bomar Monk back there and down to the Rancor as well. Just a couple of carded figures hanging up there. Need to get that Anakin in a star case, but um. Yeah, sort of, this is sort of mostly Return of the Jedi. Well, it is all Return of the Jedi again. Sort of into sections. We've got sort of, sort of Endor briefing sort of group of characters. And then the uh, Battle of Endor. There's a lot of Ewoks there. Some Scout Troopers and Stormtroopers and the ATST. 
So moving down here, we have the Moss Isley Cantina. This is the old uh, Power of the Force 2 sort of cardboard fold-out set that I have reinforced and sort of taped it all together just to sort of hold hold its form a little bit better and it's worked out really well. Do love this, do love this setup here. Moving outside, we've got some sort of Tatooine-centric figures from the start of A New Hope. So we've got sort of Gorindon back there. He's tipped off these sand troopers to go and have a look in the cantina. R5, just rolling around, rolling around doing his thing. Then we sort of get into the rest of A New Hope. We've got X-Wing pilots, Rebel fleet troopers, TIE pilots, storm troopers. Need some more Imperial guys from the Death Star briefing. We've got the good guys, the Rebels. Um, look, Chewy. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to move down. And I'm actually going to sit on the floor for this one, so we'll just tune back in in a sec. Do love this shelf as well. I'm glad they're starting to uh, really hit the three and three quarter inch with Rogue One figures. Some nice ones getting some updates. Hopefully we see more of them in the future. Again, Solo. Not a bad lineup of figures. A little bit, little bit crammed in there, but it works. Uh, Force Awakens. Some pretty solid figures in there as well. We start getting into... Last Jedi territory down here. Which again, this, this movie was served reasonably well by the figures. Probably could have used a little bit more. But uh, it's okay. Rise of Skywalker, which is, uh, you know, poorly underserved in terms of the three and three quarter inch figures. Um, yeah, Hasbro's really just sort of left that one in the dark. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a little disappointing it's it's hard to sort of love the movie even more i do like the movie it's not my favorite of the of the sequels but uh you know being underserved by the toys certainly has an impact on that too i believe but uh speaking of well served let's look at phantom menace because <laughs> this is uh this one keeps on growing i keep finding figures to add to this collection i'm going back and getting a lot of the old episode one toys and collectibles from from the 90, late 90s, early 2000s, such as the Cardu and the two pod races over there. So Revenge of the Sith, uh, probably probably due, very due for some new figures for Revenge of the Sith too. They're sort of spread pretty thin these days. We have Rebels down here, it's not a bad line. Resistance sadly didn't kick off with any more figures because there were some pretty cool characters uh, the TV series wasn't the best but um that's some cool characters and they they translated to figure form very well um, so it was a little bit disappointing that they sort of stopped with what they did sort of one one wave basically and down below we've got sort of in a chronological order kinda is our expanded universe slash legends some great Quality, awesome figures. Pre cyborg Grievous back there is great. Shared Het. Yoda on the Kaibuck. Now we've got a couple of realistic Clone Wars figures. Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Ahsoka. And over here, this is sort of Force Unleashed. We've had a few topple over here, so I need to get down. That's because my dog walks in and he wags his tail and he knocks all the figures down, but that's okay. He's allowed to. And uh, sort of down to the Star Wars Legacy comics. Thrawn's in there, Mara Jade's in there. Yeah, there's so many Expanded Universe figures from over the years. Um, still yet to be in my collection, but uh, one day. No rush. But let's continue on the other shelves. All right, so this next shelf is sort of just topped off by uh, some 12 inch figures. I've got some sideshows there. Um, hopefully find a better home for them at some point. Um, 
but yeah it's mostly just sort of 12 inch figures a lot of those shampoo bottle figures are up there but yeah the uh, Anakin Mason Plo Koon back there I'd love to find a better spot for them at some point uh, Mandalorian the shelf is uh, getting bigger and bigger which is cool love what Hasbro's done with that so far got a few sneaky Tuscans in there but that's okay and uh, 5D4 as well down here we've got my animated Clone Wars line it's one of my favourite all time lines that's been ever out um, yeah love these figures so much there's my Jar Jar Binks tie look forward to the next wedding that I can wear that at yeah this is a Amazing collection. I've sort of started littering some of the realistic figures in there as well, like those ARC Troopers. Uh, down the bad guys of the Clone Wars. Some really iconic characters. Grievous has of course taken a tumble again. It's nothing out of the ordinary there. Yeah, some really great figures. Now we're sort of getting down to my Power of the Force 2 sort of stuff. Now this is my childhood. This is what my childhood is and was. Um, so I'm having an absolute blast collecting these figures again. Um, some of these are still my childhood figures. Uh, Pilot Luke, Hoth Han, uh, one of the Sand Troopers, I think. But uh, the the two, Vader and Obi Wan back there, are original, originally mine. But yeah, having an absolute blast recollecting these figures from the 90s it's just a big nostalgia kick when you can get a hold of some of these the rancor some expanded universe stuff that i've been having a blast collecting as well cool stuff i love that a lot so as before my episode one pod races and there is me and my wife with steve sansweet when we toured uh, rancho obi one back in 2017 one of the absolute treat that was. So yeah, just stories that sort of toy photography stuff. I've got lights and atmosphere and stands and all sorts of stuff for toy photography. Just spare vintage figures I've got in those boxes, accessories, tins, all that sort of junk. Uh, up here, I've got the Slave One. Yeah, IG-11 statue. I had two of these. I gave one of them away when I did when I got hit 3,000 subscribers. Nearly, nearly so close to 4,000. Can smell it. I've got another giveaway happening as soon as I hit 4,000 subs. So here's some Boba Fett shelf as well. Some great, great stuff. I love Boba Fett. Of, uh, I was I was in Boba Fett denial for the longest time, <laughs> but uh, you know he is one of the best badass looking dudes ever. So here's my hot toys. I recently sold uh, my Last Jedi Ray and Kylo Ren just to fund some other some other bits of my collection. But uh, you know I'm keeping all these, and uh, hopefully I can build on the collection in the future. But uh, yeah, they were just two that I. Uh, could afforded to have moved on because I know that there are uh, there's a better version of Kylo Ren coming out from Rise of Skywalker, which is basically the same thing but improved, and uh, the Rise of Skywalker Ray. But I love the Last Jedi outfit, but yeah, I just just had to move them on. But that's okay. Down here is my SH Figure Arts collection. This one is pretty much complete for my purposes I don't plan on getting any more of these they are quite expensive and uh, not easily easily not easily attained either so and the fact that I have a good last Jedi Ray and Kylo back there as well is another reason why because I just I feel like they're quite definitive good versions of the action figures so but yeah I, I had an absolute blast collecting these, but I don't plan on getting any more. Touch wood, because more than likely I will. So, that just about does it. So that's pretty much it, folks. Um, I 
do hope you've enjoyed this, checking it out. Uh, there's still lots in here to see. Um, if there's anything you want to take a closer look at, please just hit me up in the comments. Send me a message on social media and stuff, and I can do a little close-up looks of some of these parts and spend a little bit more time. Um, just want to point out another thing I do collect is Star Wars tattoos. I do have a couple of Star Wars tattoos, so I thought I'd share these at the end. So I will flip the camera back around. So on this arm I have a vintage Chewbacca. This was done by Paul at Infinite Worlds Tattoo here in Adelaide in South Australia. This one I got when I was over at Celebration in Orlando by an artist who goes by Rizaboo. I can't remember where she's based now. I think she may be based back in the UK. I can't remember. But she did an absolutely amazing job on that. On my other arm, I have BB-8, Happy Beeps. That was done by Paul as well. And um, I have a Beskar ingot there that has... Uh, it's not looking great with the hair at the moment. <laughs> and uh, I probably do need to go back for some touch-ups just because of where my arm sits and you know spends a lot of time in the sun so it's a it's one I'm definitely gonna have to get touched up at some point but it's got the mud horn and uh, this is the way written in like a hybrid uh, or a besh English but yeah looking forward to getting that one touched up one day and probably the last but not least is uh, George Lucas so I hope you can sort of see that okay so the maker himself on my arm and that was done by our uh, Paul at Infinite Worlds as well and uh, yeah he absolutely nailed that it's perfect I love it so yeah that's uh, that's my sort of tattoo collection I do have this one a little rebel insignia that's because I couldn't wear a wedding ring to work and I do have a Jedi logo on the back of my leg but that's too hard to show at the moment so yeah, hopefully get some more of them soon. Um, but yeah, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you checking out the video. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And uh, hit the notification bell. And uh, I hope you stick around for a long time to come. Lots of videos always coming out on my channel. So thank you very much for your support. Um, consider becoming a member too, or just on the front of my channel. And uh, check out the video which goes through my tears. You can check that out. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Till next video, may the force be with you. Always.